Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I am reviewing the um, Go Play Lips Kit from Go Play Cosmetics. Now, some of you may have seen my video recently where I reviewed the YSL, the, the custom making lipstick machine. That, that was an expensive mistake. So let me just go ahead and watch the video, but my main issue with a YSL lipstick machine is that it wasn't as custom as it kind of, I wouldn't use the word custom in any way, actually. You can mix three colors together to make um, a few different hues <laughs> of pretty much the same color. And that's all it was. So as, as soon as I posted that video, I had a message in my inbox on Instagram, which I don't check very much, but somebody sent the link of this. I was like, Robert, look at this. Like this is an actual custom one that you can actually use. Well, and because in the YSL video, I said what this really needs, what would make this amazing is if you had a black, white, yellow, blue, red cartridge. That's all you need. And I said gray because I meant black, white together, making gray. Um, and that's all you need for like a good one. And then you can add like, you know, the um, magenta, all that, all this kind of stuff at a later date, whatever. I cannot believe this actually exists for a lot, a lot less money than the YSL one. So we are gonna review this today, have a little play around with it, see just how customizable it is. Just before we get into that, say if this is your first time here, hi, my name's Robert, I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life. And it's my goal to help you become a pro yourself or to someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do please consider subscribing. And that's it. Okay, so let's take a look. So there were two kits available in this. I bought both for some reason. There's the cool one and the warm one. I've opened the warm one already. So let's take a look at the cool one together. You can change the, look how cute. How cute is that? Okay, cool. We have some information there. There is an app that goes alongside it. Okay, so the actual machine, is it a machine? It's in that little bag. Okay, so, so you have the pots at the bottom here, which is basically gonna catch all the color. And they come like this, and they come like this. And in the top, you have, this tiny little brush. Oops, how cute. And so then you can make your color and carry this around with you. So you would unscrew this and place that into the bottom of the machine. In the top here, this is where all your colors are. So you, what you'll do is click it down. We'll have a look at that in a bit. And then in the middle right here. Now, remember, remember how many custom colors we could get from the YSL thing, right? Now we have a green, we have orange here, we have pink, we have deep purple, we have all these other colors and that is just from the one machine. So, so how this is gonna work is, let me hold it up here. So say for example, focus my friend, you're basically gonna click these down and the color will be dispensed out the bottom there. And so like these instructions show, it gives you, let's say this orange one, for example, this nudie one, which is probably one I would want to create, it's saying one pump of red, four pumps of yellow, and two pumps of white. So it tells you exactly how much or how, um, yeah, no, that's it, how much you need. It also came with a moisture drop, so which you can add um, to the lipstick if you want to. Yes, there were a few other bits that came with it, a few different finishes, which, um, I keep saying I've just moved and I haven't unpacked everything yet, but I really want it. So they are somewhere, but I really want to show you this. Okay, let's just do it. So it does say that you might have to pump them all quite a bit before. Oh, so that's a yellow. What we got red here. I'm just gonna pump it until it comes out so I get the right amount of clicks. Blue is out. What's next? White. Oh, that was almost immediate. And black. Now I did I did have a play with the other one and I did find the red was a little bit drier and did take a little bit more time to come out. Let me take this one out. So you see it just comes out the top there. This is, it's just so cute. Where's the red? I can see it coming. The red seems to be a bit more, I think all the, every finish is matte, but the red just seems to be that little bit more drier. I think what I'm gonna do is take some of the moisture drops. Oh, it says add to dried color in the pot to revive it. Oh, amazing. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, that's cool. So it just unscrews. Yeah, it is maybe a little bit drier in there. I'm just gonna add one drop to start and then see if we need any more. Maybe two. Whoops, okay. 
Perfect. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, let's make that nude orange first. Okay, so one pump of red. Okay, that'll do. Four pumps of yellow. And then two pumps of white. <laughs> let's see. So this is what we're working with to mix our color. I would probably recommend using a lip brush that it comes with, but I'm just gonna use a separate brush just to make sure that the, when I use, you know, the lip brush that it's nice and clean. Oh, did, did I put too much red in? Oh no, it's changing. Okay, okay. No, I mean, I wouldn't usually wear this color, but for science reasons. Wait, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that's not what I wanted at all. Did I add too much white? I think too much white came out. Okay, okay, so no to that color. Okay, but fine, we get the idea. Let's try and make, because it is completely customizable, we made like an orangey nude color. <laughs> it really grips with a lip. Okay, I wanna make this like purple. So we have one pump of a red, one pump of blue, and three white. Okay, one pump red. Mm. Come on. One pump blue. And three pumps white? Was it three pumps white? Yes. One, two. One. Two, three. Okay. What I am finding is because the formula is more matte, that it's, it's maybe not um, all coming out at once, or w with the pump, sometimes nothing comes out, so you keep pumping, and it kind of messes up your measurement a little bit, so I'm, I, you know, I wasn't quite sure I was getting the right measurement, but, I mean, as long as it's in the realm off, right? Okay, it's like, like, I don't know if that is enough red, if that was a whole pump, because I don't feel like it was. No, now it's just a light blue, so really I do need another pump of red, if I can get it out. There you go, okay, let's see. Look at that color, oh my God. That is insanely pigmented, that is crazy. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, don't talk when you're doing purple lips, I just messed up that corner. I'm still talking. Oh no, I just, okay, I just ruined that side, that's fine. That's my fault I was talking. Okay, I kind of want to leave that on and just see how well it sets. So I feel like a little um, Hot Topic goth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the formula is extremely comfortable. I can't really feel it on the lip. Really, really nice and comfortable. It, it feels like, it looks like liquid lipstick and it feels like liquid lipstick. You know what? Let's drop some of this um, moisture drops in. That gives it a nice like shine. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look how great. Oh, <laughs> nice. Now what I want to do, I want to create like a true nude. So let's try doing that with the app. Okay, so as I was saying at the beginning, there is that like cool and warm. You can do this like test on there, find my colors, which will help you um, decide which one you want to get. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have we can go to the palette here and you have summer and winter. Oh, so you can get the purple. Oh, I'm gonna show you on the screen, I don't want to do this. You can buy the, the purple shade, which I did add. So when, um, to my basket, which I can't find. So you can get all these shades when you get the purple add-on. Let's do, oh, you get spring, autumn, summer, winter. Yeah, I feel like spring, autumn is where my nude is gonna be. I want to try um, this color. Select, okay. So it's saying we need five white, one red, two yellow, and one blue. Okay, so five white, I need to make sure it's coming out. One, two, two, three, four, five. Okay, done. One red, I will consider that one. Two yellow, two yellow, and one blue. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, that came out nice. Okay, so these are our ingredients. Ingredients? 
Let's go. Where's the thing? There's one. Okay, that's gonna need... Okay, so it's made of this. I think that's gonna need a tiny bit more yellow because it's just looking a little bit too red. Much better. Okay, cool. So that was like four pumps. Four pumps of um, yellow to get it. I think that's pretty close. Let me hold it here. Okay, so it's quite... <laughs> you know what? For, I wanna, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> I think what you need to bear in mind when you're making a color on this is that it is a liquid lipstick formula. So it's quite literally gonna come out the color you see. Okay, let's try it. I've got another pot here. So I'm, I like a more orangey, I like a more orangey nude. So let's do two pumps of yellow. I want like a, a suggestion of red. Let's do white. Okay, so let's mix up that first and then see how, where we want to go from there. The red is quite overwhelming. So let's do two more white. White, one more, one more yellow, two more yellows, let's do, okay. Now I don't want it to go too light because then it's gonna go too pinky. So I want to take, mm, let's do, okay, let's do a tiny, tiny bit of blue. Ah, that's too much. Tiny bit of blue just to make it a little bit more <laughs> neutralized. I really think this is gonna be like, okay, let's show this. That's that color I hate on everyone. See, I don't want to make it any lighter because it's going to be too light. So let's do a pump of black. That's a lot of black. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, okay. Gray is a good start because then I can, I can make that gray a little bit more red, which is going to give us a little bit more purpley. Yellow. Okay, that's what I need. I need a lot more yellow. Okay like this, this much. Okay, all right, now we're getting somewhere. Yes, that's, okay, I wanted that like nude brown. Perfect, okay. Let's do a tiny bit of red just to add, to make it not so cold. Okay, that's a nude I want. Okay, I've run out of brushes, so I'm gonna have to use <laughs> this. Yes, there you go. Imagine you're me and you just buy that whole machine so you can make this. <laughs> Let's let that set and then I want to put a gloss on top. There you go. That's the kind of nude I like. Okay, let's summarize this machine. Really good, really fun to play with. Um, Really great. My my one, the whole thing's good. I would personally recommend buying it if you like to play with lip color and if you like really strong, bold lips. If you're a nude person, it's a lot of, it's a lot of um tweaking and all this kind of just, just to get a nude. However, if you like, like I said, strong lip colors and go for it. My one concern is that when you push, you don't always get the one dollop off product. It You might have to push like three times to get half a dollop or a dollop. So when it comes to following the formulas and the instructions, you don't get that perfect, you know, finish. Now you could always go ahead and add in more of a moisture drops, but it might change the texture. So if you do want a matte, then, you know, you have to be careful. That's that's my one concern is the texture of a product in the actual, um, in, in these things. Other than that, I really liked it. I prefer it a lot more to the YSL one because that was just bullshit. Um, and I would say get it. If, you, if you're if you someone who likes to play with makeup, then go ahead and buy it. I think it's really, really amazing. I'll leave a link down below to it as well um, if you want to grab it. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider subscribing. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.